In today's video, we are going to learn how to create thumbnails like Iman Gadzi. Most of the thumbnails of Iman Gadzi are inspired by argumented reality. We are going to break down the full step of creating this type of thumbnail. So let's get started. Let's analyze this thumbnail. In the background, you can see some screenshots are placed in perspective. Also, the skin seems to rotate around him. So let's start arranging every asset. First, I open Instagram and take some screenshots. Then I try to find some stock images that can match Iman Gadzi's pose. But I did not find any images. At last, I tried Bing Image Creator so that I can get the perfect image. After trying sometimes, I finally got what I was looking for. Let's start designing. First, open Photoshop and create a document of 1920 width and 1080 height. Also, choose a blue background color and select color profile. And color profile should be working RGB. Then press create. Now import all the screenshot and arrange every screenshot in machinery grid layout. Then select all the screenshot layer and convert them into a smart object. Now press Ctrl plus T and select perspective. Then do like this. Also I scale it. Now select this layer then go filter, blur and motion blur and keep angle minus 90 degree and distance 15 pixel then press ok you can see background screenshot has a blue overlay let's create a hue saturation adjustment layer then click on the clipping mask also check colorize now adjust hue and saturation to get this steel color now go to file and select place embedded and import the subject then make a selection with select subject tool and remove the subject background now go filter then other and select minimum and keep value on then press ok it will remove hello from the image then select the subject layer and scale it like this now go to the filter blur gallery and select irish blur then adjust like this and keep blur value around 5 to 15 then press ok now duplicate the hue saturation layer and clip it to the subject now import the 3 screenshot and convert them into a smart object. Now change its balancing mode to linear dodge. Then duplicate the hue and saturation layer and clip it to the screenshot layer. Now select the screenshot layer and press Ctrl plus T. Then select perspective and adjust like this. Again press Ctrl plus T and select work and drag this to handle a little bit down. Now press right click and choose blending option. Then add inner glow and outer glow. You can change value according to your image. Now press ok. If you use your phone, the light from the phone screen will reflect on your face. Now create that reflection. Just go and create a new layer. Then select brush and sample a bright color. And paint like this. Now right click and choose blending option. Then drag this head to remove glow from underlying layer, highlight and shadow. Hold on plus click on the head to split head to make the transition smooth. Then press ok. Now down the opacity around 45%. It almost done. Now select the top layer and press Ctrl, Alter, Shift and D. Then convert it to a smart object. Now go to filter and camera raw. Now adjust every value according to your test. After finishing the adjustment, press OK. It's done. So if you enjoy this tutorial, like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Also share with your friends. If you have any question, please comment down below.